do with your hands in these videos. Yeah. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah, great. Okay, I think she's rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, 2024 Parade of Homes is starting and we're kicking it off at the Parade Home number six, The Haven. And we're here with Devin Sullivan with s, &S Homes to uh, do well. Thank you for uh, thank you for having us over. Yeah, yeah. So. Happy to show you guys the house and give you a sneak peek of what we've done this year. We'd love it. We'd love to hear from you some of the aspects of building this home, some of the inspiration or anything yeah. else you're willing to yeah. share with us. Absolutely. Let's go inside and I'll show you. Let's go check it out. Friends, as you can already tell, we absolutely love making these videos and there's only one thing that we enjoy more than making these videos and that's helping people just like you move to St. George, Utah or any of the surrounding areas. So if St. George is on your radar or you're even remotely considering Southern Utah, let's schedule a time. My contact information is in the description below. Just give me a call, shoot me a text. I would be happy to answer any of your questions. If you haven't already been able to tell, this channel is designed to help people just like you navigate through that process better. So please consider subscribing check out our other videos, and of course, give this video a like so that YouTube algorithm can suggest it to more people. So what we went for in this home was we, we like having an open layout in our houses. So you walk through the front door, you can see the whole living room, kitchen, pool, and with living in St. George, there's so much time you can spend outside that we like to have that outdoor, indoor element in a lot of the houses we build. So we feel like we pulled it off with this one where you can have your out be grilling with your family, making burgers, kids swimming. On the detached garage, we put a pool house out there. That's so awesome. if you need a little separation, you can go out there and hang out, we'll check it out. And uh, this home is 5,400 square feet. It's five bedrooms, four and a half bath with a fully contained casita with its own bathroom. And then there's a secondary bathroom out in the shop also. I love how this entire space, the entertainment space, kind of pushes out into the backyard yeah. towards the pool. Yeah. You have, you know, it's a pretty huge party in here. Yeah, it makes it nice. If you get, you know, 20 people over, you're not all crammed and you don't have the one access. So you open up this big door and hang out. And there's distributed audio through the whole house. So you got the speakers in the yard around the pool, the speakers in the shop, the speakers in here. So if you're listening to music, you can enjoy all that or, you know, Super Bowl was Sunday, so you can have your game on here, your game on out there, and everyone just hanging Perfect out. Perfect place so for the game. Set up for enjoying life and time with your family and friends. St. George is a beautiful place to do it in. Yeah, it's a perfect spot for that. What do we have going out in the kitchen? What did you guys decide on the appliance? And I see you've got a butler pantry in here as well. Yep, so butler pantry, we went, we went with the GE Cafe series appliances. That's a 48 inch range, double oven, six burner with a griddle. And then you have a beverage center and a pebble ice machine sink over here. So put all your stuff here. I personally like not having a microwave in the kitchen. Cause it's like, man, I'm gonna spend all this money on this house to have a beautiful kitchen. And then there's just, just a microwave out. too. I'm like, no, let's get that thing out of the way. So that's awesome. Microwave back here, China cabinet. I think, you know, I don't want to take all the credit for this house cause my whole team and my designers and the project managers, they all have input on our parade home. So this was a big group effort for all the people at s, &S Homes. And I think they killed it, honestly. They did really well. They should, they get the credit, not me. I just came over every once in a while and looked at it. So it was all them for sure. Humble, humble boss. Yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. One thing I personally like about this house is the master bedroom is like split off. So I'll walk back here, I'll show you, but I don't like when you walk into a master bedroom, you don't want to have to walk through your room to get to your bathroom. So this is set up kind of sick. So it's way private, but you come in and your bathroom's right here to your left. We have the windows tinted so people can't see them from outside. And you know, you've got toiletry, his and hers vanities, shower, nice walk-in closet, but then also your bedroom is kind of isolated Talked by away. itself. So you don't have to walk through it get to your bathroom, which call me a diva, but I don't want to walk through my bedroom to get to my bathroom, you know? No, it's convenient. So, and I think buyers appreciate that too, so. Or it ends up being like the least used bathroom in the entire house because all other bathrooms are more accessible. Yeah. So just use it like first thing in the morning. Yeah, yeah. So, I think it turned out good though. And then no, it looks like the master suite is very spacious in this home too. It is very spacious plenty of room in here. So I think this room is like 18 by 18. 
So very nice vaulted ceilings. Vaulted ceilings, a lot of natural light. Those windows are also tinted too. That's something we did a lot in this house was tinted a lot of the high, uh, the windows that are getting a lot of sun exposure. So that cuts down a lot on, you know, HVAC bills in the summer when they're just getting pounded by the sun and you can leave your blinds open and the heat reduction is unbelievable. And this is a north facing lot, mm -hmm. right? So the front of the house faces north, yep. Yeah, so it's a perfect pool, perfect pool backyard because you get yeah. plenty of sun exposure oh, yeah. and it's never directly shining into the house. And yeah, wow. the south side windows have tint. Uh, it's beautiful. And then with where we put the garage in the evenings, you'll get that afternoon shade. So, it, you know, it's still 110 outside, but you can be sitting out on your patio. We have, also, we have a big glass garage door that opens up to the pool room. So it'll all be in the shade and you'll be comfortable and you can sit out there. Enjoy That's the awesome. evening, watch the kids swim, whatever, you know, it's, it's pretty, perfect. pretty good. I love this glass door too. Yeah. So then as we, as we leave the master, mm -hmm. on this level we have one more bedroom. Yeah, guest bedroom and bath right here. So it could be used as an office too if you want. There's not an office on the main floor, but this could, we set it up as a guest bedroom. And it has a, a private cool bath. Suite. So. You gotta have a private bath for your guests when they Absolutely. come over. You don't need them trotting through the house. I'm a huge fan bathroom. of every every suite having an ensuite. Yeah, same. Yeah, same. And then over on this side, we have like the laundry room is down here, and there's actually a secondary laundry room upstairs. So you half bath, so you don't have to go into a regular bathroom to use it. And then in here, it's laundry. You know, nice spacious laundry room. Love the tile. Tile sick, huh? I feel like last couple of years has been a trend with like funky tile. Uh -huh. And I'm glad that the, the trend of um, the frilly, like the blue mosaic type tile, <laughs> yeah. you know, for, for a period, I feel like it yeah. came back, like every builder was putting it in. Yeah. And this is, this is cool. This, this is, is new. Fun, yeah. What are your thoughts on some of the trends that you feel like should die? Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> Some of them, it seems like white cabinets are gonna live on forever, but I mean, I, I don't know. I, I like the trends, but as far as the saying one should die, I don't, I mean, it's what people want. You recycle know? it for yeah. something new. Then this is our casita back here. So one thing we do, we have a lot of plans where we have fully contained casitas. So you can look at it like it's called home within a home. So and we, there's been a really big trend. Our, one of our top selling plans is a casita plan. So this is fully contained where it's got like a little living room, kitchenette area, and then a bathroom and a bedroom back there. This is with, basically like a one bedroom apartment. Yeah, and it's got its own private access. So if you are, you know, if you have your mom living with you, they're fine to come in and out as they go. Or if you have friends coming to stay, you can they can just use it. And, or some people have like mature kids with even yeah. grandbabies, you know, maybe yeah. three generations in one house. Yeah, so. Yeah, this turned out good. My, one of my favorite showers in this house is this one, just the black tile all the way to the ceiling with the gold trim. I think it looks sweet. It looks awesome. So, glass all the way up. I love how it has matching tile throughout. The yeah. flooring matches it too. Yeah, our designers did good on this one, I think. Yeah, it turned out awesome. Yeah. So that's, the main floor has essentially three bedrooms. Mm -hmm. So it's got the casita down here, the guest bedroom, and then the master suite, and then the, you know, kitchen living room layout and then upstairs there's three more bedrooms up there with two baths a laundry room and like a a wet bar and a living room I guess you could call it I don't, I don't know what they're called Liv I'll like call a, it a living room. second living space yeah I'd call it a playroom for my kids that would keep all their stuff up here and toys and downstairs stay nice chaos can be up here you know i love how all the finish work matches the cabinets in the house yeah the staircase it's a really nice touch you know it's funny the so jeanette and elena are designers they base all the colors and all the selections off the house off the cabinet handles that's, that's awesome started. so i'm like that's crazy right everything is tied together the doors yeah. the stairs literally all the finish work yeah so up here's playroom game room living room whatever you want to call it it's really nice big space yeah, and like, so we built a lot of the stuff into the trusses too, so that's why you get a lot of these angles here, which I think is really cool. Some people might not like it, but I think it's it very, gives the house a lot of character. And then this is another bedroom, private bath, dormers, so 
nice view of Pine Valley, this Temple, is so cool. all that stuff. But that's the view room of the house. This room is sick, yeah. In every direction. Yeah, this room is sweet. So this would be perfect room for a little baby girl, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so and then back here, there's two more bedrooms, you know, closets. We're big on putting closets everywhere just because you got to have your stuff. And then this is kind of funny. We were, as we were building this house, we're like, what if we could, like, this was all open. Like, what are we going to do here? I'm like, well, let's pop a washing machine in because nobody wants to carry all their kids' clothes. This is so functional. Downstairs and all that. So you got this up here. Yeah, I think one, one of my clients and I were just talking about it and they were like, if, if you're building a house in 2024, having a laundry room per floor is yeah. pretty much a must. Yeah. Once you get two or three washers and dryers, you're never going back. Makes life so much And they're easier. honestly fairly cheap to put into a house. Like right. that, the washer and dryer, I think that washer and dryer is like 1800 bucks. And to put all the connections is only a few thousand. So like for a few thousand dollars and people upgrade five, ten thousand dollars on the right. countertops. I mean, why don't dump another four thousand? Makes total sense. Easier every day. And if you're already running plumbing. Yeah, it's easy. So and this is another, this is like a Jack and Jill setup. So bedroom, natural light, and then it processes through with two sinks. But you got to check this shower. This one's kind of, we didn't have a lot of room in here, but so that's kind of like built into the roof, which is. Oh, it's right in the trusses. It's crazy, huh? But it's still super tall. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, normally, normally when I see those showers, I'm like, I would struggle to get in there, but this is yeah. like taller than me. Yeah, and then this room's got a lot of character too. This but, is the pool room. It's got the views out in the backyard. Yeah. yeah. So this would be a fun, I mean, I think it'll be a fun house. We actually ended up selling this house before the parade, which was a relief. I was pretty nervous about it, but we sold it for 2162000 So it is sold for the parade, which is nice. That's a great value, especially for this location. Yeah. I was about to ask you what, what would something like this cost if somebody wanted to build a custom home with us and us homes? So it would this pretty close to that. So we, we, uh, yeah, probably around 2.1 2, like, we'd be about the same price. Honestly, we, we we're big on value at S and S homes. So we don't want to like overcharge for stuff. We just, we believe in fair, honest price. So where you know, you can get this home. And our dream for this parade was, you you know, you, we walked a lot of the parades last year and you get the 10,000 square foot house, the 12,000 square foot house, and they've got it so all. So far it's out like of reach. $6 million. I'm like, so I'm sitting here thinking like, man, let's build a house that's half the size, but still has all the amenities. So it's like, we have the five bathrooms, the five bedroom, or bedrooms. We have the pool, the pool house, the RV garage, the three car garage, the home automation, the sliding glass door, the fire pit, the outdoor shower. Like we got it all, the barbecue and we're a third of the price. Yeah, that's essentially similar, very similar experience yeah. without having the price three times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the lot's not as big as some of those other ones, but a lot of people don't like a big yard. Like, you don't want to go well, home, do the yard same work. At time, I show a lot of homes that are, they're pushing that $2 million price range. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to find something of this square footage in this price range. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Usually it's half, half the square footage half the square footage and the, it's almost like there's a little checklist they go down. Like once you breach 1.5 million, like, does it have the fire pit? Does it have the built-in barbecue? Is there a pool bath? And it's like, that's what they're looking for. So I'm like, we'll just, we'll give it to them. And this house has a whole pool house, right? Yeah, let's go check it. Oh, I think the pool house is the best part, dude. It originally, it was supposed to be garage. Like that was our plan, big garage. And then we framed it and we're like, shit. Like, you're not going to be able to get anything in here because it was so tight, you know? Just a little more narrow. Yeah, and I ended up leaving town, and I get home, and I come back, and I'm like, yo, why is there a wall here and a bunch of plumbing? And they're like, oh, yeah, we decided to add a pool bath, and like, sit, or a pool house. I'm like, all right, I guess we're doing a pool house now. But it turned out sweet. It's honestly way more functional than the garage would be because you can see how tight it is right here to where... Like you wouldn't, I mean, you could have got a bicycle through, but there was supposed to be a garage door right here. That's true. Yeah, that would have been such a tight turn. Yeah. So I was like, that ain't gonna work. So then we did this, which I think this is badass. So, and then it's got this. How incredibly intentional that looks like. Yeah. You would have never told us. Yeah. 
So, and it's got the all glass door. So, it, and it's got its own HVAC system out here. So if you're out here watching the game or the, like for me, it's gonna be dirt bikes. Watching the race, hanging out, you know, have pizza, but you can still watch your kids swim. You can entertain your friends and it's sick, you know? Over that same plan, somebody could either use that or that'd be a perfect spot for a home gym. Yeah, oh yeah, home gym would be killer out here. So all this, and then the only say that the designers let me have was like, if this was mine, I'd want a door to my shop or my garage. So then you come out here, you know, put your RV out here, your razors, dirt bikes, boat, home gym, like whatever you want, you can put out here. And then there's another big storage closet in the back. I love the color of Sweet, huh? We by accident did the same exact floors in our house. Yeah. Michonne wanted to have some sparkles in the floors, and I'm like, oh, it might be too sparkly, and now I love it. It's yeah. the first time I've ever seen somebody else. It's freaking cool, isn't it? Just needs a big, nice, super air nautique in here. The thick glitter can just contrast with each other. Or a big class A. Yeah, yeah, and it'll all fit. So it's the garage is 60 feet deep. That's huge. And 20 feet wide, so you can park anything that'll legally drive down the road in here. And with with 20 feet wide, mm -hmm. we've seen some homes with like double RV garages. Mm -hmm. and sometimes, to anybody that's listening out there, like one of the tips that I would give if you're building a big RV garage, don't skimp out the width of the door because yeah. you got to go 14 by 14. That way, you everything fits. That makes it so tough. It's tight, yeah. To actually drive in there. And what we've seen, like with building RV garages, is not everyone has an RV. Not everyone has a boat, not everyone has a razor, but everyone has an idea for what they could use this space for. So it's like, it's so versatile. It's not just for RVs, it can be for anything. It's so true. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we sell a lot of those RV garages and probably like one out of every 10 has an RV. Yeah. Everything else is like just huge storage. Space. Yeah, storage, you know, car lifts, razors, dirt bikes, gym, you know, art gallery. I mean, it could be endless, so. And then of course we got the pool. We did a 20 by 40 pool this year with the Shamu shelf and in-ground spa. So it's got bubblers and stuff, but I don't know how to turn any of that on. <laughs> I'm sure it's all Those things awesome. squirt water and it's supposed to be pretty sick. I don't know how to work it though. That's awesome. But in private backyard, so, and uh, outdoors, all those speakers around the yard. So I'd turn it on for you, but I legit don't know how it works. So you got an outdoor shower as well. Yeah, outdoor shower, bathroom right here. So if you're swimming and hanging out, you don't have to have all the traffic through your house. So I got sliding doors, but yeah. So I mean, kids are swimming, they can enter the bathroom real easy. It's a great Get spot in there. It. It's perfect. You still have, so you essentially have access to two bathrooms right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One inside the door. Yeah, yeah. So. I think it would be sweet. I mean, I can see myself cooking some burgers, kids swimming, hanging out. Like, it'd be fun. Don't go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, watch your step. So, it's pretty sweet. We're excited about it. We're excited about it. I'll, I'll tap the part right Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Devin, thank you so much for yeah. taking the time to yeah, take absolutely. Tour. We truly appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, appreciate and you coming out. If anybody out there is looking to build a home with us and us homes, get in touch with us. and. We'd love to make it happen. Yeah, thank you. Love to see you guys. Thank you.